Welcome back to Sportsline here on News Channel 5 Plus. Once again, number to call 615-737-7767. Our theme tonight has been uh, the two professional sports teams here in Nashville at the crossroads. <coughs> Excuse me. It always happens not when you're in break, but when you're back live on TV. Sorry about that. Uh, the Predators and Titans. Speaking of the Titans, they had their rookies in town over the weekend. They're still here, I'm assuming, but they had their first rookie minicamp uh, last Friday and Saturday and through the weekend. And, of course, uh, several guys that uh, fans and us folks in the media will have their eyes on. Um, and Theo Jackson is certainly one of them. You know the story. Oh. Born and raised right here in Nashville, went to Overton High School, went on to play at the University of Tennessee, and now he's drafted by his hometown team, the team he used to grow up going to watch, and now he's a Tennessee Titan. Can only imagine what's going through that young man's head. But uh, Theo Jackson met with the media last weekend at Titans rookie minicamp. Here's what he had to say. Finally got the chance to put your home team jersey and helmet on. Uh, what's, the, what's the feeling? How, how has it been for you so far? Uh, I mean, it's been great, you know, just, just come out here, you know, finally put, play football, you know, so, you know, you know I'm, I'm uh, learning to be a pro, learning the scheme and all that, so I, th I think it's going to go well for me right now. Theo, hey, what was the comment right before the pick, Theo? There was a comment about Rocky Top out there, and you got to pick in the next play? Yeah, so um, my guy KG was at corner. He was just trying to, you know, get everybody in, like, you know, high spirits, and then Coach Ray was like, uh, you know, cheerleader from Rocky Top, and I was like, okay, cool. So, and then I picked off the quarterback the, ne the next play, so. You know, I kind of didn't talk after that. So, you know, it was kind of funny. <laughs> you know, Tron, Tron kind of touched on it, but you, you talked, I guess, when we talked to you on the conference call after being picked about growing up a Titans fan, have, having so many family members of Titans fans. What was it like when you got your jersey and put the Titans helmet on and kind of walking out these doors for rookie camp? It was, it was surreal. You know, like I just grew up watching them. Uh, you know, just, you know, really just like watching them going, going to games, just just experiencing the games. And now I can, you know, go out here and be with them next, next to them, playing with them. So, you know, it's, it's it's been crazy. But, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, stay level headed, you know, and get, have have that next, next day mentality. Technique wise, what are the things you're trying to work on the most at this point? Uh, just trying to learn the ins and outs of being of be, being a safety, you know, like the because I know how to play safety, but I need need to know the smaller details of how, how to actually pl play safety in the league. Yeah, why would you describe, I guess, the the star position that you played at, at UT, and you know, what were the different roles that come with the star? Wait, so say it again. I'm sorry. How, do you, how would you describe that? I guess what they call it, the star position, is that right at UT? Mm -hmm. And then what are the different roles that come with that with that job? Uh, you really a. Uh, you're really a safety corner and a line, linebacker in that, that scheme. So, you know, really just, you know, you gotta, gotta, gotta be tough, you gotta be smart and fast. So, it's really just, you know, you gotta be a ball player. What is it about your ability that allow, allowed you to, you know, excel at that position? Uh, just, you know, because I already had the size, so, you know, they like, kind of took care of itself, and then I added on the speed, and then, you know, I, I study a lot. So, 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 so being smart and knowing what, what, what's coming and who I'm going against, that kind of helped me out. The, the local workout that, that you had here, and he said you were really, you know, you had no problem working out for them, like maybe some guys didn't work out. What made you want to jump in and do your workout? I think he said even if it was raining, or it was raining, and you, and you still did the workout. Oh, uh, uh, I don't care what kind of weather it is, you know, good work is good work anywhere. So, you know, I'm, that, that, that's, just the, that's just the mentality that I have. You know, I'm a, I'm a work, you know, if, if I can't go, I can't go, but, but if I can, I will. You had the pick and you nearly had another one at 7-on-7. Seven seven. You, you closed really well on, on pass in the flat. You always kind of had a knack for finding the football. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's really just, you know, playing off the quarterback in most senses and, and really just getting the jump off of him. So, kind of like we, you know, cause we, we was in the vision coverage. So, you know, I was just playing off the quarterback. Yeah, close to home for college football, get to start your pro career close to home. What are what are some of the benefits of, of that being, you know, sort of a local guy all the way through? You think? I live 15 minutes away from here. <laughs> you know, I can go home whenever, you know, talk to moms, talk, talk to dad, my brother. So you really just, you know, having my family there to, you know, support me with what I'm going through. People hitting you up for tickets already? Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm letting my, my mom and dad handle, handle that right now. Anybody ask you if they can come out here and watch these rookie practices? Uh, my dad did, but I told him probably not. <laughs> <laughs> that local uh, workout that you had, uh, did you come away from that feeling like you you made a good impression and, and that maybe you'd hear from the Titans again, you know, come draft? 
Oh yeah, I, I had I had walked away think, think, thinking that I came out here and, and performed well. So you know, it was really just just a waiting game from 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 the, that point, and then you know the call happened, and you know I'm here. So you know I'm grateful for that. Theo, how excited are you just to get with the secondary group? I mean, there's a lot of young guys in that group, and mm-hmm. how can that benefit you guys just with so much years in front of you? How can you learn from each other? Uh, you know, we can just you know build, build, build off each other's skill set. You know, some some people are better than things than, than others, so we can just build on that. And you know, we're young, so we got a lot of years to play together. So you know, that can be a really pretty thing going down down the line. It's obviously looking ahead a little bit, but I would imagine it will be a matchup guy against tight ends. How much would you like that opportunity, especially looking at the schedule, the guys mm-hmm. that you have uh, that you'll be able to go against? I mean. It don't really matter to me. That's that's just the DB inside of me. I don't really care who I'm going against. You know, it's me versus him. So you know, I'm really I'm gonna do, do my technique. He's gonna do his. You know, it's really just I'm just out here playing playing ball. Yeah. You know, what's the most important thing you take away from this week? Okay. Uh, just learning. You know, just 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 be willing to you know and, and just be willing to improve every day. You know, learn and uh, you know make connections. You know, that's because I stress that every every single single day. So we really just those those three, three things. Theo Jackson, the former Orbiton star and former star at the University of Tennessee, now a Tennessee Titan, the Nashville kid playing for his hometown team. It's got to be an incredible feeling for him. It'll be interesting to see how he grows and develops during his time here with the Tennessee Titans. Also, the Tennessee Titans uh, drafting a tight end, filling a big need, and they go with Chig Okonkwo, a big athletic tight end that uh, could, down the road, prove to be a very valuable weapon in the passing game. Here's what Chig Okonkwo had to say at rookie minicamp. That's the first day of work. Hey, it was amazing. It was fun just getting back on the field, just being able to compete with the guys again. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I know it's only one day, but how do you like the interaction with Coach Brave? I saw him talking to you multiple times in the field. Yeah, he's a very interactive coach. He demands a lot. and. Uh, He's just a coach you want to play for. He just he just demands a lot out of you, just tries to get the best out of you, and he just makes you want to compete. Did it seem like a long time between the draft and, and this camp, or, or did it go by pretty quickly for you? Since, like, from the end of the, the college season, it, it no, felt like... Well, oh, like from the draft, oh, from the draft. You, you were coming Oh, no, from the draft, it, it was it was quick. It was super. It felt super quick. I just couldn't wait to get down here. So. What did you do to, to fill up the last couple weeks here? Oh, just stayed in shape, just conditioning, staying in shape, just making sure you can come out here, you know, you don't... That you can finish the practice, just make sure you... It would finish. How did you feel like Malik handled the huddle and commanded things for the first time out? Uh, he did a great job. Uh, I'm not. Sure, I'm not I don't know really what um, their coach should do, but we're coached to you know do our job. So I feel like he did a great job. Doing was it about what you expected in terms of coming in and maybe trying to just get acclimated to everything, or was it did it feel overwhelming at times? No, I felt it felt what I expected. You know, it's just at the end of the day, football is football, so it's the same thing we've been doing all of our lives. So it was. It's about what I expected. What and you've gone first, through this what is first day like as far as anxious and wanting to make a good impression on your new coaches, teammates, and, and also trying to be up to speed with what, what's being asked to do. Uh, for me, I, I felt like it's, if it was very uh, simple just because you know you do a lot of preparation. There's a lot of preparation that goes into it. As long as you prepare yourself the right way, then you'll be ready to go. So. And what did you think about the league from afar and what's it been like just getting to know him just on the surface level so far? Uh, yeah, he's a, he's a great guy. A great guy. As you've gone through the process here, getting accustomed to the play, but what are some early impressions of this offense, and maybe even how tight ends specifically? You know, fit? I know that we're very hard nosed. We're going to be a very hard nosed team. We're going to run the ball. We're going to run the ball. We're going to be a very smash mouth team, very tough team. That's what we preach. It's obviously early, but have you gotten to see just you go back to 2020, 2019, the different ways they use Johnny Smith in the offense? Uh,